hello traders how are you doing today hope you are doing great welcome back to my channel this is phenomenal pips i hope you guys are doing great and today i'm going to share with you how to interpret trade how to interpret signal so um before that before we go into details if you are new on this channel kindly click on subscription button click on the bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be able to see it so let's get started so to interpret signal is is very easy it's so easy to interpret signal so i will make this video to to be easy to understand for you guys especially for the newbie so i will explain it but i will try to explain it well for you so that we'll be able to understand what i'm saying so what I mean by interpret signal is that some gurus, some traders, so some professional traders, they will draw their trend line, they will do the analysis, then they will send it to group. So they just send it to you to maybe to to help you guys. But since they did not tell you to buy or they did not tell you to sell, you will, you won't be able to know that they have already gave you signal. So if they send you something like this, like this chart now, if they send you this chart. So they have already gave you signal but maybe you are a newbie you don't understand that uh, maybe you you, you, are, you you are new to trade so if, if they send you something like this you won't be able to understand it and they have already gave you signal so when they do something like this for you so they have already gave you signal so now the truth is that you know this is our trend line and this gave and uh, this shows us that the market is in uptrend so when they give us signal, what you just need to look for is that when you see something like this, if you if you see here, you will notice that here is uh, is a is is a, is a key turning point because when the market touches here, it go back, it touches this here again, it go back, it it touches here again, so it it what it bounce back because this market, uh, this zone, is key zone because. When the market touched this zone, the market, uh, this zone rejected the the market, so it comes down and returns this trend line again. So, if you see something like this, like I used to see, don't just jump into market. What you look for is that, as for me, if I see something like this, I will look for selling opportunity because the market is already uh, rich here. And if you notice here, you will notice that the market here is already closed. So when the market touch this, uh, this uh, our support here. So you are just look for breakout. If the market broke this top support, don't enter. Just wait for the test. After the retest, then you can enter yourself. As for me, I will look for selling opportunity. But before you complete your selling opportunity, wait for the what breakout here. If they send you something like that, what you just need to look for is that you will look for two opportunity. First opportunity is that. Wait for whether the market and uh, this uh, uh, whether the market will broke this uh, resistance and this support. If the market broke this support, don't enter. Just leave it and wait for it to retest the trend line back. When the market retests the trend line, then you will enter your sell. You will just put your you will set your stop stop loss thirty pips or forty pips behind this trend line. That is where you will put your stop loss. Then your tp will be here and your second tp will be here so that is how we do we, we trade so that is one number two is that you can also wait whether the market and this trend line will still what we still bounce back the price if the market touch this and uh, this uh, trend line when the market didn't broke the trend line then that means the market is still going up but for this i have 70 percent that the market will end 90 percent uh sure that the market will broke it so for you to be in safer side just wait for what don't uh, don't uh, just follow the market so that is it wait for it be patient don't just enter market so wait for it whether the market will broke the support or it will bounce it will go up so when the when we you see the rejection at the trend line so that means the market is going up then when the market broke the trend line so that means the market is good for sale but when they broke it you wait for the retest then 
sell uh, you go for sell so i don't know whether you understand it so let's look for another example yeah this is another uh example so this is what i said on that uh, the former one, one that i show you so you see yeah because it's an uptrend in the former uh, former video that i upload so i explained that when the market touch the trend line it will go up then when it touches again so when it touches again then uh after the that a bullish candle close you will enter your buy so that is how we trade the trend line so you see when the market touch here again go back bounce here, come here again then it retest the trend line when it retest it then the market was you go up so that is how we trade the trend line in the for uptrend what you will look for is buying opportunity don't sell don't look for selling opportunity here what you will look for is selling and um, buying opportunity because the market is an uptrend so when the market touch the trend line just wait for bullish candle after the bullish candle closed then you enter your buy so that is it then yeah you see what what's happening here when the market touch the trend line don't just buy you will wait whether the market the trend line will reject the price when the market and the trend line rejected the price then the market after you see the bullish candle close when the bullish candle close then you will enter your trade but here when the market touch the trend line it broke it down so when it broke it down so here you are looking for as for me what i need is that i will wait for this market because after it broke it what i will look for is that when i will wait for the market to retext the trend line because after it broke it broke the trend line you wait for the test after the test maybe the market will test this trend line again when it tested it then i will go for sell so that is that all market might go down but here is 90 percent so that is how we trade it i just do this video to, for you to know how to uh to treat the how to interpret the the signals so that is how we interpret the signal when you see something like this so they don't need to tell you that buy or sell when you see something like this you will know that they have already gave you and uh, they, they have already gave you food don't just want them to feed you so they have already give you food they give you spoon so what you just need to do is that to eat the food for yourself so eat it yourself so that is it they have already give you uh something good something nice so and they have already gave you the something light so you just know how to do it so that is it the market was already already broke it broke the trend line wait for the retest when the market retest it then you will go for sell so let's look for another uh, example so this is another one this is another example when you see something like this you will look forward to our uh, things so the first one is that when you see something like this you know you have already lose uh you mix the entry because when the market touch this trend line here that is where you're supposed to enter because when the market touch the trend line after this bullish candle you will you will what you will enter your buy trade although this market is in downtrend so but as for me what is good is that wait for the market to touch this trend line here when it touches it here then go forward sell so that is it it's really simple so don't just here don't place if a buy or sell around here because the market is already this is an late entry wait for the market to test the trend line before you take your action make sure it touches here or here before you watch you place your uh trade so that is that about that it's very easy so that's how we interpret the 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 signal so that is it For, see another one here this one is very easy and it's very easy so what you just need to do is that wait for this uh, bullish uh, candle you know the market is in buy is in buying so wait for the market to test the trend line when the market tested this uh, trend line here then you will go forward for sell if you see the rejection what we need is we need the rejection here when we see our rejection here then you will go for sell or market might likely broke the, uh, the resistance if the market broke the resistance then we will look for buying opportunity so that is it but here 
what we just need to do is that we make sure that the market tested the trend this the resistance if the market tested the resistance you will look for a uh, bearish candle or rejection when you see the rejection candle then you will go for sell so that is that about that so this is another one so this is so i will show you the result of this trade now because this trade i took it two days and uh, day before yesterday i took this trade and i send this uh, this chat i send it to my group but some people don't you know they don't they don't understand it so this you see this is because this zone is key zone i've already drawn my trend line this is uh, this support this uh, resistance here and here you know you see here is the uh turn, because when the market tested this uh, this zone the market bounced back it tested it here again it bounced back it tested it here again it goes back because here it broke it then when market goes here and from here it broke the resistance when it broke the resistance the market broke the support again go ups but when it touched this uh, zone again i know that the market will go up because it's respected it is and the market will respect this zone so see the result now you see this is h4 time frame this is the result now so this is how it is it looked like before this is before so see the result now so it's the, the the price action is uh the knowledge is power so i know the market will what we goes up so this zone i know is a uh, is key zone so because when the market tested it i know it will goes up so that is it it's very easy so like i used to say if you want to know more about the price action and you want to learn how to use a kind of formation or kind of formation uh price action technical analysis everything how to use moving average join our mentorship program or if you want to learn only price action just whatsapp me uh for inquiry so i wish you all the best thank you very much i really appreciate you guys if you have any question concerning this feel free to whatsapp me so thank you god bless you